Hi Pisces, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do your reading. Who's coming towards you now? There will be an extended reading link below in the description box and in the comments. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. I will look at the next four weeks energy moving forward and I'll dive deeper into the person that you are connecting with. Um, with that, let's just get started. I don't know why I was hesitating there, <laughs> Pisces, but let's see what the energy is here for you, Pisces. If you do enjoy this reading, please let me know by liking, engaging, commenting. I do appreciate it. That's how I keep the reading going. So with that, let's see what the energy is here from a beautiful Pisces. Okay. Ooh, Pisces. I'm seeing opportunities here. All right, and okay. Door to spirit. All right. Something unexpected is about to hear, uh, happen here, okay? Something maybe here you're not going to see coming. You do have the angel balance here. Angel of balance, I should say. We'll show you the card here. I feel like there, you know, I'm just going to say right off the gate here, Pisces, I almost feel like there could be somebody in your energy that you could hear from. Okay, we are in Mercury retrograde, so it's quite possible somebody here from your past, you're going to hear from this person, okay? It can be, this is a storm warning, okay? So this could be, you know, use caution with this person. I call this the trap door. That tells me this could be like a pattern that you are seeing with a particular person or a pattern, something that you've gone through with a person in the past. Angel of balance, I'm also picking up here. This could be someone you haven't heard from in some time. It can also be uh, twin flame energy is what I'm getting there. Now, bottom of the deck here, you do have uh, the door to spirit. I feel like door, uh, that spirit is guiding you at this time, okay? Now, I wanna say here, you do have adjacent possibilities. So this could also be an indication that there are other opportunities and open doors around you. It just all depends what you're trying to manifest here, okay? But I do feel like spirit is going to be sending you signs and synchronicities to help guide you through this situation, okay? Now, you got number uh, 48, which is 12, which I, I reduces down to three. Threes for me are about communication, uh, also new beginnings. You have number 24, which is six. Six is for me around peace and harmony and 10, okay, reduces down to one. So you can take that as a end of a cycle, beginning of a new cycle. But let's uh, pull your cards here. Let's see what the energy shows here for you. I'm gonna get a few shuffles before we start. Thank you, Spirit. Who is coming towards Pisces? What can you share with Pisces about who is coming towards Pisces in love? Please share it with Pisces what they need to know. Please share it with Pisces what they need to know. Okay. Huh? Three of Cups. Another three there, right there with the Angel of Balance. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Ten of Wands. I'm going to keep going. The Devil. The High Priestess. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. And the Nine of Pentacles. And bottom of the deck. Yeah, look at that. Lovers. And you also have here the Ace of Cups. I'm going to put these here. I feel they're significant here. I feel there's somebody here that you walked away from or this person could have walked away from you here with the Eight of Cups. Some of you, this could be somebody. Somebody thought the grass was greener, no matter what your situation is. But here's the Page of Cups. I feel like you're going to get an apology or you're going to hear from this person. I feel like Pisces, this is somebody here uh, with the angel of balance. 
this is someone with the high priestess this is also your energy maybe intuitively you have felt this person in your energy or i'm going to say here there could also be something unknown here we're going to clarify we're going to see what that's about but with that three of cups this tells me i feel like you're going to get communication a union here okay someone's going to try and uh, reunite with you is the energy i get you have the knight of cups and you have uh the seven of pentacles see this is someone I feel like there's been some time or there's been a pause between the two of you. This is somebody who has been pausing, reflecting, thinking about things here, okay? This is definitely a romantic uh, energy. Could be something here that this person wants to say. We'll see when we clarify. You do have the Ten of Wands and you also have here the Seven of Swords, so definitely feels like, you know what I get here is that there is some past issues, burdens here uh, that haven't been talked about, okay? It's almost like somebody has avoided a conversation, but that's coming to an end here, okay? With this person I feel coming towards you. Now this, I also see the seven of swords as somebody who's trying to move on from a relationship or a situation and hasn't been able to that's the struggle here so this could be somebody that is still attached to you they haven't been able to move on no ma no matter you know maybe how hard they have tried here i'm picking up cancer scorpio pisces i'm also picking up uh capricorn taurus virgo aquarius libra gemini strong gemini and strong uh Pisces or Cancerian some of you could be dealing with another Pisces see look at this the devil I was saying here somebody who hasn't been able to move on they're still attached to you they don't want to let you go but there is something here around their behavior uh, something that this could be somebody who did something and they knew they shouldn't have done it I talked about here with the uh, I call that the trap door trap door somebody here who is repeating a pattern or maybe you've seen uh, some red flags or a pattern with this person we're going to clarify and then look at you have here you have the lovers and the ace of cups it's almost like something always brings you and this person together or the energy is so magnetic between you and this person two of you are going to have this opportunity for a new beginning if you want it so let's clarify very interesting reading i'm going to clarify and then we're going to see how they see you and how you see them so tell me more about this high priestess tell me more about this high priestess okay nine of wands so this is what you don't see you don't know could be dealing with an aries leo or sagittarius but you have judgment here too this is somebody i feel still wants the opportunity with you Okay, if you're feeling this person in your energy, that's why. Now, this could be somebody who shut you out. This could be somebody who is very guarded. But that tells me here with judgment, they want to rekindle this energy. Okay, so things have not been really great for this person. Okay, maybe they've run into some challenges since you've been gone. But you got the Ace of Pentacles here. They still want an opportunity with you there. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. Okay, Four of Pentacles. I said it. Look at this. They don't want to let you go. Four of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. This person has love for you. This person has love for you. They want union. They don't want to let go of this. Maybe it's that they've had some time to think about that. Knight of Wands, they're returning. So this feels like this could be somebody where there was an on and off, a back and forth energy, a hot and cold energy with this person. What's this person uh, been, what's this person been reflecting about here with the Seven of Pentacles? Ace of Swords, a fresh start here, communication. Yep, something they want to say, they want to express the world, strong Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. This could also be somebody who was indecisive. This also could be somebody who was really in denial about how they felt about you. That's why there was that back and forth there. Let's see why the Knight of Cups is here. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. 
four of cups yeah the king of swords so this is someone it definitely shows they want the opportunity here with you with this page of pentacles but and it definitely shows they want to express something to you they want the opportunity with you but i'm going to say here with this four of cups they're feeling unsure they're feeling hesitant they don't know here if you're going to accept their offer they're definitely uh worried here i'm i'm feeling or just unsure oh boy the hangman popped out here now oh, somebody's having an epiphany a realization now i'm going to say also too i feel with that energy that the delay here because it does feel like some time has passed the delay here is that this person is unsure okay if you're going to be open to hearing from them right this cup here if you're going to take this knight of cups cup right this offer here tell me more this is why they're struggling tell me more about the ten of wands king of wands yep because they've been feeling very uncertain, very uncertain, very doubtful here, okay? And there's a lot of emotion here. That's you. That's you. They got their eye on you as the king of wands, the masculine energy here with the emperor. This is someone wanting to change things, wanting to do the right thing. See, this is someone I said they were in denial. This is someone was who was in denial about how they felt about you. It's almost like they were trying to mask their feelings and they were struggling with that ten of wands, but they can't struggle much longer. They can't they're trying to move on there with the seven of swords, but they can't. Tell me more about the seven of swords. Six of wands and the fool. Yeah. Ten of Cups. I talked about their behavior too. I almost feel like too this is somebody who who likes attention. Maybe almost somebody who is feeling like a fool. They may also be feeling like you're moving on. They may feel like this is risky. Like I said, unsure here. Okay, maybe they're seeing that you're getting a lot of attention here with the Six of Wands. Okay, but this could be somebody, like I said, avoided their feelings for you. But now they're taking that risk, that leap of faith. Ten of Cups here, reconciliation or wanting happiness with you. Tell me more about the devil. Tell me more about the devil. Justice. Oh, wow. And the Hierophant. And the Eight of Cups. See, their higher self is telling them here that they need to make things right for whatever their behavior was, that devil energy. Eight of Cups. Now, some of you I'm gonna say here this could be this could have been a marriage, or this could have been a round commitment and marriage. Eight of Cups, three of wands. Like a, I think I said this earlier. Maybe they, they thought the grass was greener, but it wasn't. We see that there with the Nine of Wands. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Ooh, tell me more about this Ace of Cups. We're going to see how they see you. Nine of Cups, that's the wish. Yeah, look at that. A lot of emotion here. See, they do have feelings for you. They do have feelings for you. And they're very drawn to your energy. All right, let's see how they're seeing you right now. How are, you, how are they seeing you? Okay, entangled, all right. So I feel like they know that you have boundaries here, but they there's a need here for communication. They feel like right now there could be a block in communication. Secret desired, yeah. There's unspoken words here, uh, Pisces. They definitely desire you. They're feeling very confused. Um, 
I feel about being vulnerable about how they feel about you because they do desire you but they're doing this kind of in secret and it's also um, an energy of revealing so I definitely get here they want to reveal to you how they're feeling yeah it, this is a very intense connection here fiery passion they're very consumed by the passion they feel with you and it's also an energy of them wanting to bring stability back to this connection oh wow you got head over heels this is somebody who fell too fast for you that's the energy i'm picking up here and and i feel like they ran from their feelings for you they fell fast or they were worried they were going to fall too fast for you and they ran this is that energy I'm feeling here. Unlock the gate. Yeah. And so the mystery here is they don't know if there's still that opportunity with you. So they're trying, they're trying to gain the courage here to um, see if that door is open with you again. And that's what I was seeing here. The hesitation, the delay of communication. But I feel like this person is going to communicate soon. So we're going to take it to the extended. We will see, you know, in the next four weeks, if you get communication, we'll dive deeper into this person. Um, I hope to see you there. Link is in the description box and in the comments. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.